here is your metacarpal, right? Here's your metacarpal. This is metacarpal one. And then you have a, a phalanx and then you have your proximal phalanx and your distal phalanx. And that's pretty much it. But it's your metacarpal and then your metacarpal sits on top of your trapezium, right? Which is a wrist muscle. The most important thing outside of the anatomy here is let's find it on your hands because you have an opportunity to work with your patients when it comes to thumbs, right? Feel for it here. So your metacarpal, if you use the flat of your finger, you can easily find it. If you go into a little bit of radial deviation, right? You're gonna have a little bloop, it's gonna drop down, right? And that's the end of your metacarpal, right? That's the end. It's actually quite short, right? Right there. So from here to here, right? And the great thing about the thumb, right? So we all essentially kind of know the CMC. So it's it's your metacarpal to your trapezium that makes up your CMC, which is your thumb. It's equivalent to your thumb MP, and then it's your PIP and your DIP, kind of like if you wanna equate it to your fingers. The great thing about your thumb that's so different from your fingers is there's a rotation component, right? You don't just go into flexion and you don't just go into extension, but you have radial abduction, right? So bringing ab, A, B, D going out, and it's radial because you're coming along the radial side of your, your arm, your radius. Then you have palmar abduction, palmar, ABD abduction because it's going towards your palm. I don't know why, but I had a hard time when I was starting out remembering that. So hopefully that re reminds you like on which direction. But our thumb is really cool because it has a rotation. So that's called the opposition. So just understanding just the normal function of the hand really can help you to dive into more detail. So when most people are studying, they just start diving into the details, like you're up here, but it makes it so overwhelming and so hard to study for. But if you start at this foundation, building that information will be so much easier for you because you understand.